Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Um, this is my very first video tutorial and I'm really excited to do it. Um, it's also my first time using the webcam on this computer. And it's the first time doing um, a bunch of makeup um, while sitting on my bed. Like, here, on my bed. So if it bounces, I'm sorry, it's because I'm sitting on a bed. Um, it's almost 2 in the morning, and I'm just bored, and this is something to do. So I'm going to be doing something um, inspired by my makeup that I wore today. Um, it's like 12 hours old, so don't mind it. It looks better this morning. Um, I'm going to be doing kind of, it's kind of rainbowy, I think. Um, I'm not really sure what it's going to be. I'm just going to make it up as I go. And uh, I'm going to be using my eyeshadows and things that I used um, from earlier. They look kind of like this. They're huge and I love them. They're kind of, um, they're like, do you know what they're like? They're like the Ben Nye Lumiere powders, except cheaper. But they work just as awesome and I'm in love with them. They're like my new favorite toys. So, first things first, um, I'm gonna have to use some of this. It's a NYX NYX Milk Pencil, or it's a pen eye pencil, but it's in the color Milk. And um, I'm going to put that down everywhere that I'm going to put shadow because I have to give the shadow something to stick to so that it looks more opaque. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So I got the milk pencil on. And it's all, I used my finger to just kind of smudge it and um, blend it in onto my skin around the color. So now what I'm going to do is um, use my fluffy eyeshadow brush that I have here, and I'm going to use this um, eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to kind of do this blue, and then one of these greens, I haven't decided which one yet, but I'm going to go back and put some more um, green and some more blue on here, and then I'm going to go back in with like a, um, a pink, and then probably a purple on top, and I'm going to go like around my arch, and my crease, and then up and over my eyebrow kind of like a butterfly wing effect. So that's my plan. So I'm going to try and do that. Let's see. I can do this without totally making it look terrible. Never know why not. That kind of my mirror's over here, so I'm going to look at that. How's that look? Nice and blue? Okay, I'll get some more green. I feel like it needs more green. I don't know if green. So how's that look? I kind of like that. Kind of funky. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add the um, pink and stuff. I will be right back. Okay. So, here's what I started with. And here's what I got to. I just went ahead and added um, yellow, then green, blue, pink, purple, and then white. And then I also added um, some of the white down here underneath um, the green and the edges of the other colors and then down underneath my um, lower lid just to kind of bring the design um, down some. And I made sure that all of my um, shadows angled up and um, toward like my temple area. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so I went ahead and did both sides and then I went ahead and added some blue, yellow, and pink to the bottom, just a little slash to kind of um, give me some color to work with on the bottom. And as you can see, I didn't put any of the white milk pencil on the bottom, and you can see a definite difference in the opacity of the color pigment. So that's a really good example of what like a good white primer underneath can help um, with shadows with making your colors just look that much more opaque and bright. So anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this 
number what number is this? Number one brush. It's a Qualita. I don't know how to pronounce that. I got it at Jerry's. Um, it was like a dollar fifty or something. And I'm gonna use this um, Wolf brand uh, Wolf FX um, black, and then I have Wolf FX white. It's just still like a split cake with some gray in the middle that I made. Um, it's just perfect to have for like situations like this where I just want something small to hold in my hands and work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that. I just have to put some water into my black and I like to put a good amount of water because I like to make my paint an ink consistency and I'll load my brush up really well so I don't have to go back to my paint cake too often. My mirror's over here now so I'm gonna go ahead and just start doodling more or less because I'm just here to have fun. That's a funky line, huh? I don't even know what this is. Alright, let's do that one. Okay, so I pretty much finished up um, what I wanted to do with the top part, so I'm just going to finish up this um, bottom stuff now. one. Now I'm going to work on side two. And um, when I paint, I don't necessarily think that the sides have to be the same. As long as they give the same kind of feeling, then they don't have to be symmetrical. And that works true for all kinds of face painting designs. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that one. Okay. So now as you can see, I've gone ahead and um, doodled a design on both sides, and then I went ahead and um, lined my eyes as well. So now, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of like this white, and just add some little details, some dots, some polka dots, some fun stuff to um, just the edges. Okay, thank you. I've added my little white dot, and I have finished outlining, and I'm going to go ahead and um, say that this design is done. Uh, I really like it. I think it turned out nice. Looks cute, right? But anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sorry, it was my first, so there's a lot of bugs. I'm going to have to work those out in the next few, and I'm never doing it on my bed again. That's terrible. Terrible idea. Why didn't you tell me not to? And, um, yeah. So I'm going to make more in the future, and I hope you enjoy them.